When we first began teaching collaboratively at Sockburn, it was in the middle of 2014, and we had been teaching in single cell classrooms and we had a hole knocked through the wall. So three single cells with archways through the middle to make one learning space. We weren't actually allowed into that learning space until the weekend before term started and we had to set up our learning space using the furniture that we had, looking at how could we group our children, not really having had experience of looking at modern learning environments, innovative learning environments, not really. So we were feeling our way. Once we got to talk to other teachers who were working in um, sort of collaborative learning spaces and we started to read some research and we started talking and having the time to talk, we actually found out that going with our gut instinct was the way to go because if it felt right and the children were succeeding, then we felt that we were on the right track and that really shaped all of our conversations. Other needs of the children being met, if the answer was no, okay, constant reflection, what are we going to do? And it did lead to some challenging conversations, I won't, um, I won't lie about that. Um, and, but we found that if you keep the needs of the children at the centre of everything that you're doing, it's very hard to take it personally. You're constantly reflecting, you're constantly looking and probably more critical of your own practice than you would be if you were in a single cell classroom. It makes you more open, it definitely makes you more honest. You've got other people's um, ideas and feelings feeding into, into your reflection. Um, so that, yeah, those challenges have actually become a positive, which has been fantastic. So some advice for teachers heading into this collaborative way of working would be really get to know each other, be honest about your strengths, ask others what they feel your strengths are, be honest about where you feel that you can develop further, really get to know your children because knowing the learner is essential. You have to move from the me to the we um, and you are collectively responsible for the children and it really doesn't matter what your space looks like, it really doesn't matter how modern your furniture is, what really matters is the relationship that you have with your collaborative teachers and the relationships that you have with your children. Everything else will come if you've got those basics in place. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, we, we do constantly and the benefit of that is that you learn and that's the message that we give our children. So show the children that you're learning, explain to them, we're learning to work together, you guys are learning to work together, it's a journey that we're all on. And if you make the mistakes, own up to it, say, hey, okay, that didn't go as well as I planned, or what can we do to solve that problem? One of my favourite phrases with my children is, oh, I've got a problem. And they go, oh, what's the problem? We go, how can we solve the problem? And it's that collaborative talk that you have with your teachers and that you also have with your children. So get that going and you'll have a great time. At Sockburn School, we are working in either power of twos or power of threes. Currently, I'm working with one other person in a year two, three collaborative space. We have 50 children between us and we plan collaboratively, assess collaboratively and kind of do most things together as at one big group. We don't have any family groupings as such, so the parents can choose who they come and talk with and the children can come and find either of us. We run a learning coach model, so there's always one teacher within the learning space to support and um, build on other the children's learning when they're not directly with the teacher. We support our learners through different models really. We have lots of flexible learning groups where children can be in multiple groups which change regularly. The children will be working especially in inquiry times with different learners. They we've built a really big sense of family or community within our space where the children all know each other. They all are very friendly and we talk about it being very much a family. We give the children lots of choice through their activities. They can choose where they sit, they can choose what they're doing. We don't just limit literacy to a time. Literacy and mass 
are our mornings and the activities that where the children choose from are for the full morning. They have to sign up, it's very, and it's very need specific too. So when we're planning together, we're thinking about specific children and what their needs are for those activities. Mm -hmm.